Hi, and welcome back to the boot room. It's been a while. With games running out for Watford, a trip to Anfield was probably the last thing anyone around Vicarage Road really wanted, and the 2-0 scoreline would suggest that the game went according to plan, but in truth this was anything but comfortable for the Merseysiders. So whilst the scoreline will be disappointing for Watford fans, a huge positive has to be that this was the first time all season that Watford had put together two really good consecutive performances. Early on, Saar was through on goal, but disappointingly put his effort into the cop. A corner was ordered, was headed by Cucho at the near post, but Allison was well positioned for it. We were taking the fight to Liverpool in a really positive way, and Kuchka broke up a move before playing the ball to Yao Pedro. The Brazilian held the ball up well, and before returning the ball to the Serbian, who disappointingly put his effort again straight at the goalkeeper. The old adage that if you don't take your chances that it will come back to haunt you has rarely been delivered quite so quickly. Liverpool moved the ball down the left and then through the excellent Thiago before playing it right to Joe Gomez. Gomez delivered an excellent ball into the box but a lack of positional play from Cabaselli and Kiko left Jota alone to head past a frankly bizarrely positioned Foster, diving in a manner that neither threatened to catch or punch the cross or provide a block to Jota's header. It was a ruthless and well-executed move by Liverpool in fairness, but again Roy will be looking at his defensive line and, well, be left wondering. Liverpool, as we know, are a class act, and even if the Hornets reduced their opportunities and created their own opportunities, we were still being outpassed in terms of quality and quantity. But there was a resoluteness about the Watford defending, as here, when it took an excellent challenge from Sissoko to stop Robertson from getting in behind. Shortly after the restart, Cabaselli demonstrated that he could defend a Gomez ball into the box against Jota with an excellent defensive header. Watford nearly drew level when Saar was played in behind before squaring the ball to Pedro, but the Brazilian's effort crept outside of the Liverpool far post. Special mention should be made for Hassan Kamara, who whilst making an impressive start to his Watford career, demonstrated really what an upgrade he is, with a determined performance that kept Salah shackled all the way through to his substitution. Finally, to the contentious moment of the game, not because the penalty awarded to Liverpool was unjust in any way, but instead for the suspicion that had the same incident occurred at the other end, that VAR might not have pulled it back for review. The game had moved on without appeal from the Liverpool players or from the cop. Normally, they all call for a penalty in a well-rehearsed union. Off the ball, Kuchka and Jota were grappling and the Serbian ended up rugby tackling the Portuguese to the ground. But these are the kind of things that we have seen all season without being punished. Six of one, half a dozen of the other being the usual dismissive comment. But in this case, VAR decided that on-pitch review was necessary. Now, Watford fans have just cause to suspect that Stuart Atwell, having awarded the infamous ghost goal against Reading, would love to give the goal being, it is stated, a Luton Town supporter, but in truth, when confronted with the footage, he had no choice but to award the spot kick, which was well dispatched by Fabinho. When looking at the penalties awarded so far this season, it is fair to say that the top teams get the rub of the green, but they will argue that they create more chances and that that leads to more fouls in the box and therefore more penalties. That being the case, Kuchka was especially foolish to do this against Liverpool. The penalty finished the contest effectively and made the scoreline feel a little imbalanced. Roy should take heart from the performance. The energy from Pedro and Cucho Hernandez was notably missed upon their removal, so we hope that all are fit and raring to go for the next game at home to Leeds United. Fingers crossed.